All right, um, this is Apocryphal Reality with my first real tutorial. Um, I know I've done some coloring tutorials in the past, but this is actually my first tutorial where I uh, show you sort of everything. Um, not sure what this is. Don't know if that'll show up. Um, I'm going to move that up there. Don't know if that'll show up. Um, anyway, so this is my fourth time trying to show or trying to make this tutorial. Um, I won't go into why the first three times didn't work, just that uh, they didn't, and hopefully this time will work because it's sort of annoying. And I think I finally figured out what was going on. Um, unfortunately, this will only record for 10 minutes because it's an unregistered band cam or whatever. So, um, I may have to cut some of this out or see if I can do this pretty quickly. So anyways, this tutorial will cover hopefully four things. Um, mostly, or not all, if all, requested by um, the Night Fairy Fan 95. Um, I've promised her for quite a time that I'm going to make this tutorial and I never have. So, finally getting around to it. I apologize for such a long wait. It's been like half a year. Anyways, um, I've already got a minute 15 up, so I'm going to try and get this done quickly. Alright, so first effect is the flash effect, or the, not flash, um, stutter sort of effect like this. And yes, if you're wondering, this is my Where No One Goes project, um, because two of the things she wanted to know about were in this one. So, anyways, it looks like this. And, um, first track, you just do sort of whatever you want. Um, this works really well when you've got, like, fast drum beats, or you can also do, like, a bunch of really fast clips, which I did later in this video. Um, so, basically, I just put these bottom clips like that, had some flashes, and then this clip is actually one long clip, just as an overlay. Um, oh yeah, side note, I use Sony Vegas uh, Movie Studio 10, um, I know it's sort of old, but that's alright. I don't know if all of these will work on Windows or iMovie, I'm sure they'll work on Final Cut Pro, maybe Adobe, I've never really used them. But, um, I apologize to those of you who have Windows Movie Maker or iMovie, I don't know if this will work on that, um, I don't really know much about them, but um, anyways, so this is ma mainly Sony Vegas, but okay. So what you want to do is you just take a clip and you split with, um, you split the clip like every millisecond, so, or frame I guess, it's not millisecond, it's a frame, um, and then you just delete every other one. So every, so you got, I originally had one here, one here, one here, I just deleted them. So it gives you that cool flash effect. And then what I did, at least, I haven't always done this, um, I, the opacity I set lower in the first couple of clips, and then I just got higher up, like here is 91, and then up here is 100, or here is 100. And then, and then um, I showed you what this one looks like. Also, I did it here, and then I did it here. Um, same method. It's really simple. Alright, second clip. Sorry, I'm sort of rushing through this. I'm trying to get this done in 10 minutes. Alright, so this one was the sort of overlayish effect. Looks like that. Um, so what I did, you don't obviously have to do this, was I took an overlay um, and I just set the opacity around 50. Um, I cropped out that little logo. There was a logo in the corner. I actually use this video or this overlay a lot. I really like it. You've probably seen it before. Um, so you just put that on top. Looks really neat. Um, and then these two tracks here are actually the same video. The one on bottom is the one that you're mostly focused on. It's the blurry one. And as you can see, um, it's the same clip as the one on top of it. Actually, let me get rid of that. Um, so like that, same clip. But what I did was I just had the Gaussian blur. I'm not sure how you pronounce a lot of these terms, so I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but I've always pronounced it as Gaussian. So um, you want it, at, I guess I put it sort of low just so you can sort of still see the image, but not um, have it in, ex entirely in focus. And then um, here you want, I at least did this, you're going to want to zoom in a little bit to make it bigger, and then you'll see why I'm sure you have already. But you want to zoom in a little, and then I um, zoomed in further, just sort of like in, out, in, out. I um, alternated it per clip, but you don't have to do that. I just 
did because I thought it looked cool. So then when you have the clip on top, the only thing I did here was cut out these bars because they're annoying. You basically just leave it as is, but then you can see how it sort of creates that sort of cool background where you can see Stormfly, but then like you also see like blurry Stormfly. And the again, I have the opacity really low, 13% here, then um, 32, then 8, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there's a reason behind that. I um, set it up so that each clip, at least, to me, looked a little more in focus, as you can see here. Here, especially, that looks a lot more in focus than this one does. Um, and then even by the end, like, the last clip in this little progression thing, I didn't even have an overlay on it. So again, really simple to use. Um, just looks really neat, I thought. And then when I mentioned I had a bunch of really fast clips, like earlier again really simple don't this is just a little side note um <laughs> just because i thought it'd be interesting i just set it up so that they faded out a little bit over each other and again these got more um e like easier to see i guess as you went on anyways sorry about that um looks like i'm good on time again i'm really sorry that i'm rushing through this i'm trying to finish this in under 10 minutes so i don't have to edit it and put stuff together anyways okay so the next two effects are not actually in my video but since i had them set up from the previous tutorial they're actually already in here so um this one is this blur effect it's a transition. I originally set this up because I don't have the new blue effects and they've got this really cool rolling one that I really liked but I don't have the money or the means of finding a download online to look for it. Um, so I just made my own really simple, like again these are all, I know I keep saying really simple but they are really easy to do. Um, so what you want to do is you want to take linear blur and that's the only thing you just need a nice fade overlay you don't do anything um, except the fade so then you want it at the beginning you want it reset to none and then right here right where the fade starts again you want it reset to none but then at the end and I'll move this up so you can see it better you want it at some blur I use um, horizontal but if you switch the angle around you can also switch the angle of the clip that you want to fade um, I normally put mine around 364-ish, somewhere in there. It doesn't really matter, it's just the further you go, the more blurred it gets, so like that. So, um, put that back in the general area. Alright. And then for the second clip, you're basically just doing the opposite. You start out with really blurry 364, um, and then, but once you get to the end of the clip, you want it back to zero, so that makes that really cool blur effect sort of thing. Alright. Last effect, again, really apologize for going through this so fast, but I've only got two minutes left. So, um, last effect, this I used with text. I haven't used this effect in a while, but um, I believe I have used it with videos. I just sort of remember doing it with text, so I did it with text really fast. Um, I just used sample, didn't, doesn't really matter. Um, so this one it looks like this. It's sort of a glow in effect. Again, you just need a nice simple fade, um, and then you're going to want to use um, the glow effect and uh, so you just um, let's see so um, I'm gonna take this off for now the fade so what you want to do is you want to have your glow percent set pretty low um, not at zero because it looks like that and not at one one because it looks like that so I have mine set around uh, there um, and then your intensity, you can switch it out. I personally like it right around here, but it doesn't matter. And then leave your suppression at zero. So that's what you want at the beginning of the clip. And then, I believe I had this faded. Where, where did I have it faded? I had it faded right here. Alright, so then once you, you fade, I have it set at point, um, one or so, like 10 frames. Um, then you're going to want to have another keyframe and just make it don't do anything just leave it there and then I normally have like eight frames after that I move it back to reset to none and then it looks like this and you can do this with videos you can do it with text as I did here doesn't really matter all right I again super sorry about going through this so fast but I've only got about half a minute left so um thanks for watching um nf95 again I apologize for this being so late and coming but um I hope you did learn some stuff and feel free to use it obviously that's why I made this if any of you oh, any other of you ugh, 
excuse me, if any of you guys watching this have any questions that you want to know, like if there's an effect I use or something and you want to know how I did it, go right ahead and ask. I can't promise that I'm, I will make a tutorial right away, but I will get to it. Um, so I've got 10 seconds left, so thank you guys all for watching. Um, subscribe, comment, whatever. Alright, thanks. I'll see you all later.